Hmm. The Minecraft music. I could chill through this. Absolutely. Let me give it a few minutes. See if anybody joins me. Do my part. I can pretend to be a late night jazz DJ. Let's go ahead and get started. There's uh, not much that I accomplished. I said I was going to do some stuff like yesterday, and kind of all I really did was I made a basic drawer over here. There's, there's zombos. Just some zombos. You know, I made this drawer over here to hold cobblestone. Where is it? Where is it? Right underneath me. Okay, well, it's fine. I'll just ignore him. Okay, so I made some cobblestone. Uh, or, yeah, I made a drawer to put cobblestone in. I added some more stuff over here onto my onto my farm. And I started digging. I think um, I dug this hole over here somewhere. Yeah, it's over here. See the uh, see the torches. I just dug my own hole because I was not finding any gold anywhere in the hole. And I explored pretty much the whole thing. Didn't find any. So I said, alright, I'm going to have to go build my own, dig my own hole. And go find my own, uh, go find my own gold there. All right. So now I'm going to go back down here and I'll show you the hole that I made. There is going down. Did I cook these? I think I did. Oh yeah, yeah, I totally did because it starts out as squid tentacles. Came down here, and then apparently I got confused, because usually I just like to make a long staircase down, but this time I got confused and did this instead, so yeah. I'll put that there. Ended up going down this way. It's really weird. Anyway, I've got a nice uh I got my strip mine started down here. No gold yet, but I found a bunch of other stuff. So just to get started on this. There we go. There's some nickel. Might as well just get that. Nickel's weird, it's hard to see, and I'm not going to use it, but hey, I'll just get it. I just like to put the stuff in here so I can walk normally across of these. And I just realized I don't have nearly enough torches as I'd like. Here we go. 
Yes, yes, I just just blitz through the torches. It's okay. I hope the sounds better this time because I turned the game sound way down. Because I know A, I have a not great mic, and B, I just, I think I talk quiet generally. So I'm just going to do that. Oh, I'm going to check something here. Let me get some. Alright, so really, I can't turn on more music. That's sad, but oh my gosh, more amethyst! I've got so much amethyst, I don't know what to do with. But I have not found any gold. Supposedly, this is like diamond level stuff. I don't know if I believe that. Make me use all my tools here. Rude. I am so excited that it's Friday. I had a long week of work and I'm ready for a weekend. Sometimes I sure wish sometimes that the weekend was as long as the actual working. Plenty of iron. Maybe if I dig out the iron, there'll be gold behind it. Ooh, there's redstone. We'll get that in a moment. You're also glad it's Friday? Good. I am very excited. It's the end of the week. I am... But I'm already like dreading Monday. It's just, it was one of those weeks where like I just don't want to go back at all. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Enjoy. How how has your Friday been? It's been pretty chill. That's good. Honestly, Friday was also my Friday at work was also pretty chill. I just I just didn't want to be there. But it wasn't terrible. Just had other things I would have rather been doing. Like video games for one. Depending on how much progress I make today, I don't know if I'm going to be playing this next week for this. I might find a different game. Depends on how excited I get in finding things. And I just knocked off my own torch. Oh, there's a ruby here too. 
So I guess if the game wants me to keep playing it, it'll give me some gold eventually here. It'll give me give me what I want. Redstone's good too though. Yeah, I know, I like to go I just go with what I want to do really, but at the same time, like I don't like to not be um you know, I, I don't like to like just drop off in the middle. If I do play something else, I'll find something fun in my library that's like not it's not like a thing everybody really knows about. I'll pick one of my weird obscure nonsense games. Cause those are the fun ones. I suppose Minecraft in itself is like the opposite of a weird, uh, obscure nonsense game. It's, it's extremely popular. <laughs> Ooh, I got a bunch of coal, coal up here. Let's get some of this coal. Alright, still nothing. And almost done with this pickaxe, but... I also finished off this thread that way. Let's go this way now. Oops. Oh wow, lots of these gemstones. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna go this way because I just realized I can do that. Gotta check here too. Oh, there it goes. Good thing I have a crafting table down here. So, any weekend plans for you? Uh, just gaming? That's a good choice. I think, um, tomorrow's like community day in Pokemon Go for Fletchling, which is like whatever, but I like playing community day. So, me and Carly are going to be doing that tomorrow. Um, it's Sunday, we're having ribs at her family's house. That'll be fun. Nothing. Oh. Ah, I used up all my sticks. Time to go back. I just turned day at least.
and this is the part where I get all confused because I don't know where I don't know how I got out of here. Is it this way? It is this way, it is not there. Ah. I think it's gonna be a pretty good it's gonna be a pretty good weekend. Yeah. Not sure if we're gonna be doing anything else, might just chill for a while, but that's always good too. Gotta have a good chill time. Okay. Oh, I had either I had rocks or I pulled out a whole stack by accident, but either way sounds good. And we'll do one more for good measure. And a shovel. Dump a bunch of this stuff in here. Oh, you know what? I should put the sign up. So I like to put up the signs with all my stuff. This is metal. And coal. Put a half a split, half a stack of that in there. that in there and redstone goes in here I can steal some of this stuff here you know I might thanks Thanks for all the wheat. And the carrots. Yes. <laughs> I usually don't I actually don't like pillaging towns in this game. I don't know why. It just makes me feel bad. Just, just, just not good at it. I'm gonna bake these carrots up. Can you bake carrots? Nope, I guess not. I guess you just eat them. Yeah, we'll trade that out for that then. Back in we go. You know what? That does give me an idea though. Maybe we can find some gold in here. Maybe I think that might have been where I found my gold in the first place, was in here. So let's go, let's go loot somebody's chests. Yes, her. Oh, if I give you wheat, you'll just give me an emerald? Yeah, okay. I'll, go, I'll be back. I'll just go get it. Yeah, stealing games, I don't like to do that, but mostly just because then you have to worry about getting caught. And it's like, oh, can somebody see me right now? Is somebody going to walk around that door right away? I don't have enough food anyway, so never mind. And then, and like you're playing an RPG and you're trying to steal something, and it takes your turn. You could use that turn for, like, hitting somebody. That's why I, I like the, I like Dragon Quest thieves. They're like, hey, we just we just stole, stole some stuff for you while we were fighting. You didn't even have to do anything. Thanks, thief. No, oh, it's raining. Let's move in. This is a great house. That was a mistake.
Oh yeah, I remember that hearing about that was one of the things. Like you could do different things to the townspeople depending on what characters you had. I didn't really get to play around with it too much. All I really played around in that game was like the the is it the huntress who just had the worst accent I've ever heard, I ever read. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> Yonder mine arrow flieth trueth or something stupid like that. I, I remember that was one of the turns. I'm just like, no. And I thought literally everybody was going to talk like that in the entire game because that's, if you start out with her, that's what you get. Because <laughs> you just have that. I like the chandelier. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool thing with the fence posts. Anything? There's no chests in this entire village. Not that I can see anyway. I mean, there's chests in the in this castle over here. Probably, probably if I go down deeper, there might be something in this thing over here. Get rid of these thorns because they're mean. And there's a dude. Oh, okay. All right. He's got stuff. It's, it's all just, I guess, okay. Well, it is a windmill, so I guess that makes sense. Probably not keeping gold in the windmill. That's a cute tree. They they are they are keeping farms up here. Though. That's not what I expected to see. goes up even higher. Oh. See, this is cute. I'd have something like this. Have this in my house IRL. Oh, a leather hat. Thanks. An iron hoe and more wheat. Yeah. I need I do actually need the hat. How about that? I do actually need the hat. But, oh, is this this wasn't the same room, was it? No, it couldn't have been. This is a smaller chest, but it now it just has the same thing. All right. Ooh. This nice little armchair, you know. Ooh. It's a great view. Great chair. Weed deck down. Stack in the weed again. And then down here's a sort of basement. Actually, it's pretty much a basement. Oh, that was cool. There's nothing down there, though. But, like, house goals. Library of windmill. Wait, hold on. There's at least one more house, because I remember this is where I got cows from, so surely there's at least one more around here, because I didn't see the cows up here. Probably already looted the cow house, though. Moo. There's the cows. This one goes somewhere, at least. Sort of. The rooftop patio. Moo. Yeah. An iron helmet instead. I'll take those too. We can, we can have that back. See, that's something. I got. It was worth something at least. Oh, that's a. That's a zomboy. Goodbye. Got a brain off of him. All right, down the hole. Oh, you know what? 
Not down the hole, because I got no room anymore. Dump all the stuff I got back at the house. And then sleep. Put some of that in there. Some of that. Put that in there. All right, now back down the hole. I guess I don't really need the paper down there. I'll just put that in here, that in there. I'll we'll just eat the carrots instead. And I'll eat that. Okay, now we can actually go. Just putting it off. Procrastinating. Oh, there's a zombo down here. I'm not sure where he spawned. Because it should be light enough to not do that. I bet he spawned in here. There you go. All right, we'll start on this side now. Yeah, never do today what you can put off till tomorrow. That's a, that was my high school life. I've tried to get better with that since uh, becoming an adult. It didn't work until after I just, until I quit going to college, or until I was done with college. I'm not sure what Carly's watching in the background. I don't think you can hear it because the mic's not good. It can barely pick me up, but I think she's watching that WandaVision show. My only guess is because it sounds like a 60s sitcom and she just really likes Marvel more than she likes 60s sitcoms, so I'm just going to guess that's what it is. Well, I'm not gonna have to worry about ever having like not enough really nice tools, but I almost got excited there, but then of course it's just iron. I like iron and I want iron, but it's just iron. I want gold. Before I get too old.
more redstone. I didn't need the, um, didn't particularly need the axe right here, did I? Oh well. All right, I'm actually just gonna look up. I just I just want to feel indignant for a moment. So we're gonna look up gold. Gold found in the overworld. Apparently, I can use it to make use it from Terra. But gold in the overworld is about 0 0.2 percent, 0.2 percent chance of appearing. That's I also have caps lock on gold. Let me look up ruby, ruby ore, All right. ruby ore, R, R, okay, P apparently it can't, it actually cannot tell me what the chance of it spawning in the world is. Oh well. I think, I'm pretty sure it's lower than gold though, because it's supposed to be like diamond tier, you know, gems to use. Oh, and there's amethyst too. Of course, of course there's amethyst. But, sure would be nice, but I can't, I can't build thermometers out of amethyst. This is the, uh, this is Inferium. Oh, and more Arcanum. Come on. <laughs> Give me the good stuff. Give me the gold stuff. I will, I will have whatever attitude I want to have. You're not my real mom. It's like I'm playing playing a gotcha game. I just I just keep wailing and hoping for the big win. I 
how will I ever get that super ultra rainbow SSR if I don't put in the time and effort and money? But I'm not putting any money, I'm just every block's a new try. My old world was just loaded with gold. Like, it took me a little bit to find the first set, but that was it. Yeah, I gotta get more Google Play cards. You know, when I first got my iPhone or my iPad, I was like, you know what? I'm only gonna like get stuff using like prepaid cards. I'm not gonna attach my credit card or debit card to this. I think that lasted about that lasted a couple of years, but eventually just kind of there were like things that I had to pay for. <laughs> Ended up, you know, it's where my like I pay for my YouTube premium subscription was through that so it's like oh I found diamond wow diamond diamonds no gold though I mean that was it really it was just to not whale I don't I don't have like a whaling addictive personality like that though so turned out to not really be necessary. Like I've been playing been playing Azur Lane for years. Never once though I like needed to buy new cubes. I think the only thing I spend money in that game for is to get more space to hold all the boats because I keep I keep getting them all. It's just, it's just, they're just too easy to get without having to get in. What did you wail on? Is it um, is it the Romancing Saga game? All right, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna like go for another and stretch these out further and see if I can find anything. <laughs> Need her. You gotta have it. You gotta. You already have the team planned out. You need it. One more. I'm feeling feeling good about this section. That's how they get you. It's the ones that. It's the ones you already love.
Oh, well, I need this. Still need both of these. Found silver. That's not going to help me. Only second place, only got silver. And there's copper. Lots of cover. Oh, went too far. Oh, well. Whole lot of nothing. Time to make some more. Boop. Plenty of gems. All the gems I could want, but not what I need. Oh my gosh. More silver. Silver and amethyst. Getting all the pretty colors, but yellow. No butter. No butter ore. More, more of that. Some more of this. Which again, I'm going to need a lot of those, but I can't. I don't need a lot of those yet. Honestly, if I don't find any uh, gold in here, I might play something else right now. Um, 
going to uh, going to check down this way. I'm going to extend this quadrant of the mine. If I don't find anything, then I'm going to switch over to something else, I think, a little bit. Because I was really hoping to be able to do something else you know, besides just digging a hole. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy, diggy hole. Diggy, diggy hole. But I don't want to be diggy diggy hole right now. I want to be working on the actual fun magic y stuff. Uh, I want to be, yes. Just want to be diggy diggy rich with gold. Also want to be diggy diggy rich with gold in real life. That'd be good. Did I just, I just found more diamond. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, more diamond. Uh, more diamond, more rubies. I mean, you could get anything you want as long as you don't want gold. How many diamonds we got? One. A lot. Two, three, four, five, oh, six. Wow. So I have ten diamonds now. Need to dig out this copper here. Just to make sure there's no gold under it. Okay, there's iron now. Got invited to a raid in Pokemon Go right now, but I'm not playing Pokemon Go right now. All that down there and no gold. We'll just block that off. Oh, I'm going the wrong way now. I'll go this way. I was like, there's already, that hole's already really long. More redstone. Oh, there it is, finally, yay! Yay! Oh, and there's a whole bunch of it, good. Oh, there's so much of it. Oh, it was all in just one massive clump. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes. Oh, finally. Okay. I still am going to like... I'm kind of like OCD about this. Not for real, but like... It bugs me if it's not the right length. Which is... Now it is. Oh no wait, no, I need to do six more. Just just to make sure. Oh, I can't believe I finally found it. 
I'm really relieved because I was gonna be like, I was gonna be real mad. I was gonna be real mad. How much I get? 16. Good. Good. And I got celebratory music. Yay! I got the gold. It's gonna go right in there. And then we start separating everything out. All right, you know what? These, I know they're not actually metal, but they're going in metal. Oh wait, nope, that's magic and stuff. There's some more metal there, some of that. And then all, all that goes in there. Now, I can actually start working on this thing. Where is glass? There it is. Okay. Make another one of these. And soon we're going to have to go get black crystals. Just to make sure it's... Okay. There was stuff I could learn about in there. Alright. New stuff. And so let's get a refresher on what it is we're actually making with the gold. So we're making this caster's gauntlet, which is basically basically a magic wand, but they decided they wanted to make it a glove instead. So we need the gold for this and everything else we have now. So we just put this all in here. That does not, that's not the right one that goes there. And there we go. We've got the caster's gauntlet. And I need more black crystals soon. So now we can complete this. I have managed to put together a basic casting gauntlet, and I am quite pleased with the result. It is a, still a bit rough, but that is to be expected from a prototype. Even as a prototype, it will prove useful, allowing me to make delicate adjustments or alteration to thaumaturgical devices and safely to manipulate them in all manner of ways. My initial experiments blah, 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 blah. my initial experiments have shown that it is only able to draw these from a relatively small area around me. I should be careful not to deplete the aura. My main stumbling block now is that in its current state is little more than a magical wrench. Until I crack the secret of crafting foci, its futility will be limited. The path before me is clear. Yes, now we go do something else. Thus far, I have been applying these to objects as a matter of course. It is simple enchanting, much like it is possible using an everyday chanting table. I believe more is possible, however, by infusing objects with essentia, I should be able to artificially force them to take on properties and aspects of other objects or even abstract concepts. Anyone can enchant an object with magic that lifts it into the air, but infusion should be able to imbue the object with lightness itself, making it a part of its essential nature. And so this stuff we already got, this is two of the types of matter. My experiments have been successful. I have been able to infuse simple objects with essentia, but the process is complex, difficult, and dangerous. I need to find a way to simplify it before I can truly delve into all the possibilities it holds. The experiments did have some practical results as well. I've discovered a fabric that is soft, supple, and easy to enchant. I've designed it patterns from a set of clothing made from this fabric. It will not only be comfortable and stylish, but while worn, it will reduce the V's cost of certain types of thaumaturgical tasks. The clothing should be also be easily dialable, much like leather armor. All in all, I am quite pleased with what I've done here. 
So this, you need like a lot of wool and string. And then you put them all together like, you know, like the other, like, armor. It doesn't have a hat. Alright, so this over here. Alchemical metallurgy. Okay, I need to find this thing here. So in order to actually continue over here, I need to unlock alchemical metallurgy, which is on a different page. It's this thing here. Crucible crafting guide. Place crucible over heat source, add water and wait until it boils, add ingredients with the ascension you require, and then throw in the catalyst. Now these are just some mechanical things. Uh, you can empty it by shift right clicking. It'll have, it uses up some of the water each time, so sometimes you have to go get more water. Craft multiple items at once by adding sufficient ascension, adding multiple catalysts. It'll, it'll be easy to show what it does. Ascension does dissolve over time, so I shouldn't wait too long before starting to craft. I wonder what the purple puffs of smoke means when this happens. Probably nothing to worry about. So what we'd have to do for what we use the crystals for is we break them into sh smaller shards, about nine shards in the crystal, and then you dump them into the dump them in as a, a catalyst in the crucible, and you get a crystal with whatever essential stuff is in there. So it uses and it uses two. You get you get one for t every two. This is the nitor that we don't aren't going to do. We can color it. This is saying you know hey throw in a quartz sliver into all the different things. Glass vials we've made. An Essentia filter will be used for things later. Morphic resonator. I, I don't know what this does. I actually have not seen that before. Anyway, so now we do this. So brass is a sturdy, low friction metal perfectly suited to craft intricate mechanical devices. Unfortunately, it's not always possible to get hold of it due to the morphic properties of the universe I may find myself in. There should be a way of crafting it via alchemical transmutation. I simply need to find it. Basically, it's saying if there's no brass in your, you know, your mod pack, then you can just make some. I think, um, yeah, you need five instrumentum, which you get by throwing tools in. Which we will, we're going to show off that. So here is... Four in there. There's eight in this old stone shovel, so we're just going to throw that in there. Actually, first we're going to go to bed. I spent the whole afternoon reading. And go into my magic stuff. Pull out one of these. There we go. Put that in there. I need... Iron is the other thing that I need. And I'm probably going to need a bit of it, so we'll just do this. We'll throw in both of those things. So I'll just show you how this is done. Stand over here. My crucible is nice and boiling with the lava right under it. Toss in the shovel. Toss in the axe. Toss in some iron. Toss in some more iron. Nope, that just that just dissolved the iron. Then we throw in these stuff. Here we go. Looks like it's empty now. Now I've got a bunch of crystals. I got Terra, which is, I think is just that's just green. It's the green stuff right there. Herba, which is like it's from wood, and then metallum, which is metal, obviously. We throw these in here. And put that in there too. We've got two alchemical brass ingots for now. We could complete. Metals have proven to be quite easy to manipulate via thaumaturgical principles. My first experiments have led to the discovery of alchemical brass, but it was a simple manner to create something that already exists. It is time to create something new. I theorized by infusing a base metal like iron with magical energy should result in something with very interesting properties. Should be harder than iron with the ability to accept enchantments beyond that which iron is normally capable of. 
Metal such as this should have many applications in the crafting of more advanced thaumaturgical devices. So we'll get to that later. Thaum thaumium, you need like five of that stuff and five of that stuff. But I think, yeah, so we unlocked that enough that we can move on over here. I've learned much, and one of those things is how much more I still have to learn. The worlds revealed to me are arcane and mysterious, with many invisible wonders and dangers. I need a tool that will allow me to see the unseen and ease my journey of discovery. The old texts I have read make mention of a set of goggles commonly used by thaumaturges for just this purpose. Alas, the text does not mention exactly how they work, so I will need to design on my own some known principles. So, we have, we have research, we have census and machina, which I think... Yeah, it's not that door. I think it's like metal doors that we need it for. Or... Let's see. This is the part where I look stuff up, because this is kind of a pain in the butt. So pardon me while I look up some info here. Um, yeah, to the wiki. It's a wiki game. I like wiki games. Hmm. There we go. So Machina comes from doors and pressure plates. So just think of pressure plate. Let's see if I can make it with this. Nope. I know that's so basic, but I have to remember how it's made. So stone pressure plate. Just two kinds of stone. Oh, you can make wood too. Cool. I might I'll just make it out of wood. I thought, can you not make it out of wood? Can you not make it out of this wood? Not not that wood. Very specifically not that wood. Okay. What is it anyway? Yeah, still just those. Fine. I will bake some stone and then to be make sure I'm not wasting too much of the flame I'll just throw in some more iron and start cooking that up too. Stone pressure plate. Okay, it was lying to me. Oh, hey, shield. Forgot I could scan this too. Does it only count as machinum if I'm standing on it? Maybe maybe only a stand on stood on pressure plate counts. That seems silly. It counted. Wiki's got you through Scarlet Grace. Wiki's got me through um a lot of games. Got through the uh, that uh, version of Fire Emblem One that's on the Japanese Virtual Console. I have penned my own designs based on the little information I could find in my own experimental findings. Time to put theory into practice. Not only will the goggles reveal hidden things, but they will also reduce the V's cost of certain thaumaturgical tasks. Lastly, these goggles will allow me to see the V's or essential content in objects in the world, which will prove a great boon, I am sure. The most important thing I've learned, however, is the possibility of crafting delicate mechanical devices using magic and imbuing them with arcane power. So I just have to make this. The two breast ingots I made, four leather, and two thermometers. Which, fortunately, I can make. Ooh, I can't make those yet, but I can at least store the things on here so that when I go grab those crystals, I can make them. Crystals I can just find over here. There's plenty of black crystals. Let's not go down that way. Let's not fall down again. Okay, 
crystals. I think is these black crystals are right here, I think. They're right around here some yeah, there's some. Got uh, four. Make them Do eight of those. Let's get those green while we're here too. Not all of them, but some of them. All right, up we go. Okay, and we dump these on there. I get two of these. Aha, forgot you can scan itself, but you can't scan itself unless you have more than one. Anyway, now I need some more leather. Just enough. What's it? What's it again? Okay. Yay! And now put them in the bobble slot and I look real good. Basically all these do for the most part is just allow me to see if there's anything in here. But I got the done now. Now the final one, Golemancy. This book has taught me many things. How to manipulate matter and magic on a fundamental level, how to imbue po objects with magical properties, and even how to draw magic from the barrier around me. Still some things elude me. There are some very basic but amazingly magical things just about almost anyone can do. Just stacking a few blocks together in the right pattern will cause them to transform into semi-sentient animated golems. How is this possible? Why would it even happen? Is the Aura somehow responsible for this? I should study this phenomenon more carefully. So basically I have to go find a golem. You'd think that wouldn't be hard, but I don't think I've seen one in this. I don't think I've seen one in this village, but let's go see. And if not, then like I can just build one. Move. Uh huh. Same. This, uh,. Well doesn't go anywhere. It's just a well. Oh. Okay, you know what? Gonna do this the way. Hard way. Okay. Something in here. There's nothing in here so far. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no golem in here, but I found a waystone. I think I can teleport to those. So I can just build my own golem in a bit. Yeah, I threw my coin in that uh, well and it didn't give me exactly what I wanted, so I had to jump in and get it back.
more string. And oh yeah, we can put the glass in there. Gold could go in there. Honestly, we don't need this yet. It doesn't do anything by itself. This goes. Well, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need the iron. So we'll pick it up. Now I have to remember how to do that. Let's see. Back to the wiki. Okay, it's a T-shape and then a pumpkin on top, so let's go find a pumpkin. Pretty sure I found some of those around. I don't know why it insists on always showing it as night. Might be pumpkins here? There's a creeper right outside my door. I'm uh, not a fan. Can't say I appreciate that. No. We don't want any. Time to run fast. And then we want to go this way for the pumpkin, so... Let's have a tasty carrot. Over here past the ancient giant skeleton of something. Sheep could spawn in, but I mean, I can't blame them. I can I have a pretty far draw distance on here. I've always loved how the world generates. It just it just looks cool. It's like it did, 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 did a good job on this one. Oh, well, that's a crumbling house. I've never seen that before. I'm gonna have to go poke my way in there. Some. Um, yeah. Okay. There's just nothing in here. All right. That was cool. Just a little like feature, I guess. Mm. Oink. Okay. Oh, pumpkins, there they are. Here, I'm going. Feeling good. Finally found the gold that I needed. That's great. That solved my under good sweat problem. Oh, good. Thanks for sharing, everybody. What? What? Thanks for sharing. All right. You know what? Let's um, let's grab another pumpkin so I can grow some. Just in case I don't know I need one. Let's grow. 
Go in there. Yeah, get some pumpkin seeds. We'll grow some ourselves. Actually making progress now. Feels good. Okay, so with my off off stream game, I found like three different sets of diamond horse armor and no horses, and now there's horses in the wall. So Oh well. It's just nice how different everything can be every game. Mm hmm That's how it's been so far. All those gems that I don't really need, but are nice to have, I guess. <laughs> I'm sure if I was like, no, I need I need to have matching gem sets of every of, you know, every tool, then I'd never find them. They're okay. I was just walking toward the hole. Time to break these. Mm. Alright. So what I think I will do is I'll make these over here. I was worried that wouldn't be still water, it would be the weird rushing water that would bug me. All right, planting pumpkins. And then we have one more pumpkin. I should have I should have smelt the dying there, it's gone. Oh well. I think I just need one more, so I didn't really need to smelt anything. Also, what else do I need here? Because I ran out of stuff. Okay, blue and yellow. We'll get those. We're just going to build the iron golem in the middle of town. Maybe he'll just fall in the sinkhole immediately, but maybe I'll just build him in. No, I can't. These are too small, but yay. So that's complete. My findings are confusing to say the least. The natural golems that can be created are indeed infused with bees, but I do not believe their creation is thaumaturgical in nature. Whatever force animates them seems to come from elsewhere. 
Still, my research has at least borne some fruit. I have studied this animating force, and I believe I can recreate it using thaumaturgical principles. I should further my studies as soon as possible. All right, so we've unlocked, it says 34%. That just means we need to find more ores and plants. But we've unlocked all these main sections here. So now we can focus on one of the, whatever we want to do here. We can do some golemancy things. Would be fun, but you build like it's basically you just make them do stuff. It's like conveyor belts, I think. This over here is infusion. You build like infusion tables. I haven't really messed around with these yet. I've mostly done like this and this and a little bit of that. This is uh, stuff for the glove. This is stuff with the uh, the crucible there. This is mostly what I've been doing. I think I got to around over here somewhere on that. And these are just like other things, like redstone relays that I don't know what to do with. The infernal furnace is really cool. This hungry chest, I haven't, you know, it's kind of cool, but I haven't built it. Just, it picks things up. I, I don't think it follows you around. I think it just picks things up nearby. Oh, and that zooms out really far. I'm assuming this page just, this means there's a very there's a whole lot to this page. I think let's make on the let's work on the glove stuff. I have the casting glove, but need I now I need to craft the foci. Oh, I hear uh, zombies. Let's actually just get out of here first. Oh, there's baby zombie. Look out! Baby zombies are the worst. Goodbye. There's a scooter. Yeah, it's pretty much just a. It's basically a mimic. It just. But. I don't want to kill it. <laughs> But it sucks in items rather than you just having to put the items into it. That's the main advantage of it. Oh, close. Oh. Don't want to hit this thing. I don't know what it does, but I don't want to hit it. Goodbye, Scooter. Are they shooting each other? Lots of monsters because I stood out outside way too long. There's something under that tree. Yep, there is. Hey, get away from my get away from my eggplants. Okay, looks like whatever that is is underground. Ooh. Ooh, free loot. Alright, there's some yellow crystals down there. I need those at some point soon. Got another bow. <clears throat> Time to get dizzy. He's been around. And I don't need this right now. We'll put those in here. Yeah. So let's work on this. I have the casting glove, but now we need to craft the foci. 
the old scrolls aren't very clear on how to go about this, so I'll need to find my own way. I played with the idea of assembling a focus from crystals and then using these to bind me together. My initial experiments have been failures, explosives like yours. I think the answer I seek lies with an alchemical process. Using an ordo crystal as a core, I might be able to leverage its ordered structure to grow a focus around it. While this is happening, it should absorb Precantio, Procantatio, and Armacentia. The result should hopefully be a crystal focus able to absorb and manipulate these. So I need this stuff. I also need an ordo crystal, which I I time to figure out what I need for those. So that is the ordo. Looking up in the wiki here. Oh, ordo is just white. That's just the basic white one. Okay, so I have some of those. The other ones that I need. You get the precantio, precantatio from the Salus Mundus. Arum from, comes from plants, shimmer leaf, and silverwood, which I have to find. And then vitreous is glass. I think I remember there was some out in the desert, out here, somewhere around here, there was some magical plants. Go find them down there, southeast. <laughs> Hmm. Head not to the desert. I don't know why I just thought about moving to the country, gonna eat a lot of peaches. Going to the desert, gonna find me a lot of plants. Which makes no sense. There it is over here. Whatever these things are. Cinder pearl. Let's grab one. Hey, it has an arm in it. That's good. It's got a bunch of other stuff too. Wonder. No. We're gonna need some. Uh, we're gonna need to find silverwood at some point, but. Uh, not going to find it right now. So, I don't know if I can use these for. Can I plant them? Oh, you turn them into blaze powder. Okay. Can't like replant them or anything, but turn them into blaze powder. Now for the semi-long trek back. Does the little cactuses hurt? No. So the thorns hurt, but not little cactuses. Already got chew chicken. I get the sheep. The ship. I've not gotten the ship yet. Nah. <laughs> Hmm. 
I think I'm going to go about 10 more minutes-ish and call it good for today. My ears are starting to hurt from the headset. Plus, I already wore a headset all day at work anyway. So I don't think I only need one of these. So, in order to get this thing, five arm, ten Percancio, twenty Vitreous. Vitreous is glass. We need more than that. No. Oh. So this is almost done, so it's just in time. I could throw diamonds in there. I'm not going to do that, but I could. Yeah, so. Need four pieces of glass. Four pieces of glass, we need the cinder pearl. We need this right now. Or that. I guess egg going fud. I'm gonna need some of uh, Salus and Lindus, so I'll just make some of that up right now. Got a lot of redstone, I might I'm just gonna might make a cabinet to put all that in. We need more of these. Metallum, herba, and we got a bunch of those. So we need that. Flint. Make some. Make some tasty. It's tasty stuff. All right, I'm going to need two of those. Okay. <laughs> and then I need a catalyst, which is oh it's the white white crystal. Alright. And to bed first. Ooh, you know the other thing I'm gonna need. I need a bucket full of water. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to run out of water at some point doing this. Oops, I did not want to throw that in there. There it is, though. I'm going to... Told you. Need the bucket. How much stuff is in there? A little bit left still, so I'll grab. Well, honest, I try not to waste all that, but it's kind of how this mod works is they really waste stuff. And I have to wait for it to. Okay, good, it's bubbling right now. Yay! So I don't have to find the red anymore. 
Potentia, we got Urba, got Quartz Slivers, we got the Blank Lesser Focus. Using alchemy to create the focus was indeed the path to success. The focus is stable and clear. Now I simply need to imprint the proper patterns into it. For this, I will need a focal manipulator. I've already drawn up plans for a focal manipulator. The way it functions is similar to an arcane workbench in many ways. Instead of using these to craft items, it is instead imprints patterns onto the focus crystals. I must also design the patterns that I will need to imprint. I have an idea for a pattern to create flame, but I need to do some more research. Examine fire very closely. Now, let's see. How should I examine fire very closely? I am... Um, it's, it's a tough thing there. I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to do that. Oh my gosh, I'm on fire! Yeah, that's, that's what you have to do. Then we have to build this. Need more gold, I need a stone table, some arcane stone, which I forgot how to make, but I can just look that up again. We look up the arcane stone. Okay, it's whatever these crystal with stone all around it. Can I use cobblestone? Hmm. Nope, can't use cobblestone. Gotta bake that stone. Well, while I do that, I'm going to go chop down a tree. This tree over here is looking pretty big now. I'll go chop it down. Goodbye. Oh, the life's burning. No seed pod this time, sad. And now I'm gonna need a cabinet or drawers. Put the drawer up there. Pull out all this redstone. Put all the redstone in the drawer. Arcane stone, good. And I need Here, stone table needs stone slabs, and this thing needs an arcane stone slab. I should have just baked some more stone. All right, let's do that. Need some arcane stone slabs.
it's time for a new oh that's right it's time for a new chest plate I can go get rid of this one. I can get a lot of crystals out of it. I think I will do that. But I'm going to make sure I have a bucket full of water again. Nope, not like that. I need more. Got a whole lot of whole lot of crystals from that. Okay, we got them all. So we got the bestia, which is like animals, and the premunio, which is like a So, we got a bunch of them. I'm going to finish off today with making that um, making whatever this thing is called. The focal manipulator. Stone table. Oh wait, I need to make I need to make one of these things too again. Oh that's easy. You just get a you just get a hammer. Hammer that iron. I lose my mind, where did I put the hammer? Oh, there it is. Weird. I thought I grabbed it. Just going crazy. Grab that in here. Or do you do it in here? Uh. Oh, I need blue and yellow. I don't think I have I don't have either of them. Alright. I think I'm going to call that here then. We'll continue this in, I think in Monday. I want to do like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It's kind of what I'm thinking. But we'll call that for now. Maybe I'll play this on Monday some more since I actually made some progress and have some things to do now. Maybe I'll play something else. I got the whole weekend to think about it, and I'm going to spend the whole weekend thinking about that. Uh, well, thanks for coming. Enjoy your weekend. I'm going to get this finished off and see if I can't get it sent over to my YouTube channel so I at least have a place to store them. You enjoy that weekend. Know you. Anyway, good night.